I'm a partner. I am a provider. I am an advocate. And we are hope. This home where we live right now, we've been here 28 years and we selected this home because we could see that it was the type of home that we could take in three or four children at the same time and be able to provide a home and safe environment for them. Through it all, we've had well over 100 within our home. And then that's not even counting the children we reached out to outside of the home. I have always had the desire of just working with kids. You know, that was have always been my compassion to do that. Good to see you all. Change is an organization that um, my husband and I had started. Because as I was doing foster kids, we realized that our foster parents and our adoptive parents and kinship parents need a little bit more help than what they were receiving. Chain is Children Helpers of Adoption Independent Networking. We actually made it into a nonprofit organization where we started bringing in families under our umbrella that we could help through either fostering or adopting and mostly encouraging adoption. I was committed to being able to become an advocate for other kids. And this is how I got involved with CASA. Regina and I were actually a CASA team. We basically worked as a team through all them 20 some years of volunteering. By us getting involved as advocates, we were able to start actually going into the court to provide a voice in the court for kids making recommendations on their behalf. Um, it can be juvenile justice system, it can be in um, social service, any system that the child is in. We go in court and um, advocate, we advocate to make sure they're in the right home, make sure they have the right education, or whatever needs is possible. I think that it's very important for a child that's in the system to have a CASA, because a CASA will look at every aspect of that child and to help them, and every child deserves that. The CASA is a volunteer piece, it's not a pay piece. You have to do it from your heart. This is where my heart is, right there, being able to reach the kids who seem to be getting tossed on the side and neglected or abused. Mm -hmm. Before taking a break, you can't take a kid into your home and demand that they change. You cannot do that. You have to be able to work with children from where they are and try to influence them and show them a better way. Every child is different. Each child, and I feel like each person has some type of gift. They may sing, they may dance, they may draw, and you'd be surprised the gift that they have in them. The two daughters that I have, they use dance as a therapy. Whatever she have gone through in her life, they express it through the dance. They express it through their music. They express it through the art. And they show the pain that they have gone through. And, but they also show the recovering what they have been through and how they came out of it. I personally have been able to make a difference in the lives of so many kids and it's something that I still want to continue doing. Even at 80 years old, I haven't given up. I made sure, no matter how it was, no matter how difficult it was, that we made sure we did everything we can do for the first child we did, even for the second, and even for the last 110. And we're still doing it. Even though they may leave from under our umbrella, it gives them that hope where, wherever they go, they know that it's a different way of life that they can have. So this is what it's about, giving the children hope.